My fellow Americans, I am Professor Ernest Prankheimer, BS, GPS, and OED, and I'm running for President of the United States as the only true conservative pro-life candidate. Oh, it's all well and good to ban abortion and even contraception. Why, the last thing we conservatives want is women being in charge of their own reproductive systems and sexuality. But these well-meaning measures don't go far enough. If you're going to be pro-life, you should be for all life. You can't just be pro-gammy, pro-zygote, pro-blastocyst, and pro-fetus, as in those filthy liberals are always looking for ways to defeat us. My friends, life doesn't begin at conception. It begins in the ovaries and testicles. Eggs and sperm are alive too, and they deserve our protection. The living eggs that are shed in a woman's monthly menstrual cycle become innocent victims of negligent homicide. And when men polish their bishop, well, now you're talking mass murder on the order of millions. These criminal activities must be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. And to ensure this will happen, as your president, I will order the installation of masturbation ovulation monitors, or moms, to be placed in every living room, bedroom, and bathroom of all Americans. Because who doesn't like your mom? Closets will be exempt. Because as a conservative, I don't believe in big government. Except, of course, to use it to disenfranchise women, gay people, minorities, and the poor. Furthermore, any and other, all other activities leading to the innocent loss of life must be abolished. The brutal harvesting of food crops, the butchery of animals for meat, mowing the lawn, trimming trees and shrubberies, haircuts, and the indiscriminate clipping of finger and toenails containing live cells. I think some of you pro-life people out there are a little bit confused. You say you're against abortion, and then at the very same time you're also against the most effective way of preventing unwanted pregnancies that lead to abortion, contraception. Makes you look like a bunch of damn fools! And you can't call yourself pro-life unless you're also anti-war. Oh, ye hypocrites, knuckle-draggers, booger-pickers, uncircumcised Philistines. My fellow Americans, we must rise up and take this country back. Why, even as I'm speaking to you now, heterosexuals are teaching your children in the schools. Heterosexuals! It's an outrage. And that's why you should vote for me, the only true conservative candidate, more conservative than Newt Gingrich, a tactician or Mitt Romney, a patrician, or Dr. Ron Paul, a physician, or even Rick, don't bogart that fetus, Santorum, with his missionary position. And furthermore, Rick, get off that dog. I'm so, Mitt, put him in a carrier and strap him on top of your car. No, no Mitt, not the dog, Santorum, and get him to an exorcist, and make sure he pays so he doesn't re get repossessed. I'm so sorry. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. I will neither solicit nor will I accept campaign contributions. Money has so corrupted our political system. I ask you only that you remember my name, Ernest Prankheimer. Write that name on your presidential ballot this November. Just a reminder to you Republicans, you'll be voting Wednesday, November 7th, so don't forget. Until then, read more of me at Riley Coyote. Thank you, my fellow Americans. Good night, and may God bless the self-righteous. We know who we are. Prankheimer out!